question seven, and we're looking at logic gates again. So you've got three logic gates on here. And if we look at them again, this is an AND gate, and we have two OR gates. State the type of logic gate labeled G1. That's this one here. So if we write down, that's an AND gate. That's a mark. State the type of logic gate labeled G2. That's this one, so we can just write down OR. That was easy enough. State what a NOT gate does. Now we haven't got a NOT gate on here. You'll remember that a NOT gate symbol is that, and it's a reverser. So if we just write down reverses the bit that's sent to it, that would get you your mark. Or you could just say naught becomes one, one becomes naught. That would become that would be perfectly okay to get a mark. Now life starts getting a little bit more complicated as we're asked to draw out a truth table. So let's have a look at what's going on here. So it's a bit difficult to show you on this screen because we've uh, obviously can see part of the page, but we'll show you back with what goes on here. So we've got to show what appears at the different stages of what's going on. So let's have a look back here. To find out what's going on at D, D is the output from the AND gate from A and B. So A and B make D. Remember an AND gate produces a 1 if both the inputs are 1, otherwise it's a 0. So D will only produce a 1 if A and B are both 1. So in this case A and B are not both 1, so that must be a 0. In this case, A and B are both 1, so that will be a 1. Okay, easy enough. Now we've got to do the output from E. So let's have a look at E. Now E takes what comes out of D and what comes in from C. So what the two uh, inputs come from D and C. Now remember, an OR gate will produce a 1 if Either or both of these are 1. So the only time that E will be 0 is if both of these are 0. So we're looking at C and D now, and we're saying E will be 0 if both of them are 0. Otherwise, it will be a 1. So in this case, C and D are both 0. So D and E. So E produces 0. In this case, C and D. Well, C is 0, but D is 1. So if either of them is 1, then we produce a 1. In this case, both of them are 1. So in that case, the output from OR gate is 1. And now to F. So in F, you'll see that F comes from an input from D. So it's the same thing, it just happens to go gone two different ways. So D goes into here, and E. So D and E are the inputs for G3 that produces F. Again, this is an OR gate, so F will only produce a zero if D and E are both zero. So, D and E are both zero here, so F will be zero. D and E are both one here, so that will be one. And D and E are both one here, so that will be one. And there's your six marks.